Hi guys and girls on YouTube. In this quick video we're going to be taking a look at what I think is one of the most reliable TV chassis ever made. Um, this is the Decca Tatung 160 series chassis. Um, now this is actually a brand new chassis. Um, I've had it in the loft for, oh, must be 25 years or even more. Um, I actually bought it from um, Wizard Distributors in Manchester. I don't know if you remember them. And um, I only bought it because they were only about £10. They were clearing them out from the factory to get rid of them. Um, I only bought it because it was cheap, but I've never ever used it. Um, and uh, so in this video, we're going to be looking at uh, one of the most common faults on one of these sets. And it's probably the only thing they ever suffered from. Um, now, I've routed through all the service manuals. And um, I've actually managed to find... Uh, the exact manual there, the Deca Tatung 160 series chassis. So uh, let's step, stop the camera, take a quick look at the manual, and then we'll take a look at the set. So unlike uh, most of the earlier Tatung um, service manuals that contain loads and loads of pages um, and, and setting up instructions and waveforms and part lists, um, the Deca 160 um, service manual, manual was very sparse um, it only consisted of one piece of paper um, a bit like the instruction book that came with a set and you just fold it out and uh, that is the uh, the circuit diagram or as they call it the service manual a very very sparse one piece of paper now if we take a look at the instruction book for the tally um, that's just as sparse um, it only consisted of one page, two page, three page, well that's it really, three and a half pages for the instruction book. Um, so that's the original um, instruction book for the set we're going to be looking at. Now by far the most common fault on these, um, with these parts they have a very um, thin spindle and they used to break off very very easy um, I can't remember the value I think they're 22 K um, and they're all the same one I do have them in stock somewhere but I'm going to have to have a look for them because um, the TV we're going to be looking at let's just have a quick look underneath um, the actual set we're going to be looking at um, has got this common fault where the um, you catch the control on something and it actually breaks off so here's the set in question, um, it's a little 14 inch, uh, it's actually badged up with Deca colour um, and as you can see it's got the uh, the most common fault is you just catch these and because a spindle is so thin it breaks off so um, I found a couple of knobs for this, um, I found one part, um, that's a part and two knobs but um, I'm going to have to look um, so I don't really want to break up this new chassis just to get, get control. I'm going to have to have a look around because um, I do have them somewhere. So um, let's stop the camera. We'll um, take a look in the back and then we'll switch the set on. Right, well that's the uh, back of the TV. Uh, I've just pulled the chassis out so we can have a look. Um, it's fitted with the uh, Toshiba Black Stripe narrow neck tube. Um, now, I've just noticed, actually, on this chassis I've got, there are some slight differences. Um, if you look there, we've got another inductor, uh, whereas on this 14-inch one, there's a space where the inductor's missing. And if we pull off the tube base, um, also, this is for a narrow neck tube, and the chassis I've got is for a, a large neck tube. So, I've had this chassis that long, I can't remember, but it looks like this is for um, a 20 inch set not a, a 14 inch so um, I'll give it a little quick hoover and then uh, we'll plug it in well unfortunately I've not been able to find um, another um, pot yet so uh, I've searched through hundreds and hundreds of different pots um, you're just going to have to uh, you're going to have to sit with me while I have another look round well everybody that's very slightly annoying I can't find where I put them I can only find one um, and all I can find is uh, another set of knobs so I think 
just for the time being we're going to have to take one out of here and uh, put that into the tally right so that's the two new controls on um, I've swapped the color one and the contrast one um, we'll just have one more quick look at the underneath uh, and then we'll have a quick look at the top and then we'll power it up and turn it on um, you can see there the use of printer circuit ball coils in the IF strip um, one of the things that the, these sets did suffer from was dry joints on the frame output IC so I've just done that but apart from that and failure of the um, the on and off switch um, these sets were 100% reliable so yeah let's just turn it around we'll take one more look at the top that's the chopper transistor there chopper transformer um, you'll see it's got the two resistors that you usually take out the chopper transistor um, there I've had a look underneath they've not been um, changed so it's obviously factory modified like that chopper IC there tuner that's the frame output IC right at the back um, scan coupling and flyback tuning capacitors line output transistor line output transformer and uh, that's it let's stick it all back in its case now and uh, switch it on get a picture on it right so there we go guys and girls that's the Decal Tatung 160 series chassis um, from 1984 it's connected to a skybox let's switch it on See if we can find a better uh, channel than that. There we go, absolutely perfect picture. But Nicola Sturgeon did not break the ministerial code. And we'll be crossing live to the House of Commons where the Defence Secretary will be. Alright, guys, um, that's it. Let's just take a quick look from the back. That's the back, complete with its internal aerial. Um, so, there we go. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.